Hi everyone, I'm Margarita Muradova, a personal stylist and fashion consultant from Kiev, Ukraine. And a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to all of you, to the all upcoming festivities that are coming our way. And uh, this video is the last video of 2023. So I decided to kind of share with you my favorite happenings, things that were kind of significant for me fashion-wise in 2023 and uh, let me know in the comments below which ones are yours maybe you had something happening fashion wise or maybe some fashion statements fashion events fashion news have come to surface that kind of surprised you in a positive way hopefully so the first one for sure for me was the cottage core aesthetic that i absolutely love actually and more than that i actually embraced the resurgence of the whole homey culture i love homeware i am a homebody for sure i love being home i love making my space very cozy and nice i love homeware and home clothing and because of that, I feel like cottagecore was very dear to my heart because all of it was very focused pretty much on making your home feel special, feel cozy, the whole Hugo, Scandinavian aesthetic, etc, etc. And I love the whole Matilda Jerf vibe for this. I definitely did not align with the Matilda Jerf print per se because there was so much of it, but I actually loved the whole Scandi home aesthetic and cottagecore aesthetic and I still love it and I will love it in 2024 because I'm very pro being at home and staying at home and working at home and making your home beautiful and lovely and uh, since all of it I feel like since COVID and especially after that I feel like a lot of people kind of transferred their lifestyle and recreated their lifestyle and we thought their lifestyle in terms of being at home and we're at home so much more a lot of people are working from home etc and I feel like this is the time and the place to focus ourselves on this space that we live in, that we work in, we spend at home so much time and therefore I feel like it's very important to make this space as cozy and as representative of you as possible and I feel like also what's really important is dressing yourself not appropriately but comfortably yet stylishly for you, for you to feel comfortable, confident, cute at home as well at least that's very important for me and i'm not saying wearing like heels and makeup and stuff at home obviously but to each their own but for me it means wearing something as opposed to just like pajamas and a robe something that makes me feel put together so that when i'm at home and especially if i'm doing something at home but except for sleeping and eating i feel like I'm put together. I feel like I look complete and finished and I love my outfit because for me that's a very important topic as you can obviously tell. And the next thing is I love how much attention the Roe brand got and also the Roe Margot got because I feel like she was kind of under the radar most of the time even though the Roe Margot the bag is basically like a couple of years for sure old this year it suddenly became the new Birkin and I actually appreciate it so much because first of all I feel like it's so much better in terms of the accessibility not financially but in terms of if you have this amount of money you can purchase this bag as opposed to the whole Hermes aesthetic and the whole Hermes myths where you cannot purchase the bag you need to purchase something first you need to have a purchase history etc etc and all of these things which lead to the resale market which inflates the prices for these quota bags so much to a point where you feel like it's absolutely useless so to me this is a beautiful alternative not to say even the fact that the row is so much more minimalistic it's very chic it's very quiet luxury even though i can't puke from this whole term but still it's definitely kind of quiet luxury it fits a lot there's so many styles there's so many types of the row margot materials and textures and colors and sizes as well and it's one of my favorite bags for this year and previous year for sure and i have two row margots actually in my 
back collection and this year by the way i actually purged my back collection a lot because i rethought whatever i have and i made it less gargantuan <laughs> as per uh, the succession but made it more workable for me more practical i left Marie Kondo style only the items that were inspiring me and that were dear to my heart and those that did not work for my current wardrobe were sent to a more beautiful and willing home so everything's okay with that for sure and went to resell so yeah I love the Romar Gold resurgence and trend and I feel like this is definitely a trend that is going to keep on giving it's not a trend that's going to die out in 2024 and the last kind of event for this year that was very much awaited by a lot of Phoebe Philo admirers, obviously, was her launch of her namesake brand. And I'd say that I honestly was kind of underwhelmed by the collection overall. There was some, definitely, there were some pieces that amazed me, that I loved, but I was and am still kind of underwhelmed by the whole collection and by all of the items. But what I loved is actually the resurgence of the whole Phoebe Philo aesthetic and appreciation that people had and still have and now kind of came back to the whole Phoebe Philo circa Celine aesthetic and people started buying old Celine again. And I feel like this kind of feminine meets masculine, beautiful, oversized, structured, working woman aesthetic is something that's so timeless. So even though the whole collection by Phoebe Philo, the current collection, is not totally up to my taste, although some pieces were beautiful. I feel like her coming back with her brand made the world, the fashion world at least, appreciate this whole aesthetic so much more with new passion and again and those were three main fashion themes events something that happened news over the course of 2023 that definitely gave me inspiration that vibed with me that resonated with me and let me know in the comments below which were yours and yeah this is it for the last video for this youtube channel for 2023 and i'll see you definitely in the next one have a Merry Christmas, beautiful holidays, enjoy yourselves, and yeah, bye!